We're very famous for our electronic dance music scene. Artists like Armin van Buren, Martin Garrix, Don Diablo, Afrojack, Oliver Heldens, they're all represented in the top 10 of the DJ Mac Top 100. By the way, there are no women in the top 10. It's very much still a male-dominated scene. Lady B and Jennifer Cook are on their way to the top and talk about that journey and their ideas for the next generation of female representatives for the electronic dance music industry. Hello South by Southwest, this is Jan Maarten Hartong, the founder of uh, the School of House electronic music platform from the Netherlands. Today we're talking about electronic music at our Dutch New Wave panel with uh, Dutch artist Jennifer Cook and Lady B. My name is Jennifer Cook. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter, producer, uh, vocal DJ, um, recording artist. And I live in Amsterdam and I'm half Gambian and half Surinamese. Uh, I'm Bianca, artist named Lady B. And I'm part of this music industry for over 17 years now. I make electronic dance music. I'm a DJ, MC producer. Great. <laughs> Jennifer, how was this year? This year, um, to be honest, next to the pandemic and everything that happened, um, it was actually a great year, uh, music-wise. Um, uh, of course, yeah, there are no shows, but uh, I focused a lot on the music. Um, you know, even though you're at home a lot, you have a lot of time for your creativity. And um, yeah, I, I really focused on that. I thought, you know, Okay, I can perform, but I can make a lot of music. I can write a lot of music, uh, produce music, um, and bring some stuff out. So that's what I actually did. And, and for you? What she said, like a lot of time to focus on music. Um, and personally, uh, I got engaged. So wow, <laughs> congratulations. More time for love and family. And I think if you got, uh, I used to be touring all the time. Yeah. You don't have time for a lot of personal stuff. And now now that life is in balance, I've got more time for creativity. So it's a really plus side. The downside is, of course, a financial situation. So you have to find something else, like a side hustle to do yeah. more music. So yeah, that's the plus and uh, the don't. The yeah. Uh, how was it for you to work more uh, from from out of home? Did you also perform? Uh, did you still do shows? I think for now it's all about the music because people cannot go to festivals and events. And I still do some live streams though, just to, to for myself and to reach your fans. But uh, music is all that matters now, I think. Yeah just to engage uh, followers, uh, Spotify platforms, music platforms. That's the only way to reach your fans now. Is it easier as a talent to reach out to you, for instance, say, hey, Jennifer, yeah, definitely. I'm here, listen to my music? Now more than ever, I think now everybody has the time. You know, before, you know, I had so many shows and performances and I think everybody was busy with other things, but now you're a lot home. So everybody's communicating, I think, now even more than ever. Is there enough room for girls, do you think, uh, nowadays to, to get to the, the main stages of uh, electronic music? There's European? always enough room for female representation, of course. It's a male-dominated uh, scene, I think, the music industry. It's still... 80% men, 20% women, I think, on lineups. Um, but we are getting there. Top of the list artists like um, Annie Mac, Anna Lunu, um, Black Madonna, they are paving the way for young talents. And the blessed Madonna way. The blessed Madonna, yeah. sorry, yeah, 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 <laughs> blessed Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> she changed her name. Yeah. Jennifer, can you, can you tell me a little bit about your, um, yeah, your road to uh, the top of the game. I started as a dancer, actually. A dancer, yeah, okay. as a what? Yeah, as a dancer. I, I didn't know yeah. that. <laughs> I, I started as a dancer. I, I did opening shows for, for Ja Rule when he was like really big. Uh, I did opening shows for Drew Hill, for Genuine, uh, uh, Sean Paul, uh, so yeah. many stuff. But I was a professional dancer. But I, w I really knew at that moment, like, hey, I love to sing. And, um, and I went 
you know, to singing lessons. And then I did actually opening shows in Holland for like a Glennis Grace. Uh, 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 she's pretty big here in Holland. So, <laughs> and then from there I was like, hmm, that's not really my thing. Uh, but I had a passion for house music. And when I heard my first uh, uh, house song that was from Head Candy, it's a popular, uh, you know, label. Yeah. label. Uh, I fell in love, and then I started uh, doing Head Candy Holland uh, for four years uh, as a vocalist. And then I started performing next to DJs. What was the moment you thought, like, I want to start DJing? And, and why did you want to, to, to move to, to an other position on the, on the stage? Yeah, um, I thought, you know what? It's pretty cool to combine because I had a passion and love for electronic dance music. But I was like, hey, how cool would it be if I would sing and DJ at the same time? You know, of course, like uh, people paved the way like uh, Johnny Calvin or uh, Shermanology. I was like, whoa, that's really cool. Like she's singing and, and they're, they're rocking on electronic dance. And I was like, whoa, I want to do that, you know. Uh, but when I started this, I was like, yeah, I want to take it another level. I want to bring it to a Tomorrowland. I want to bring it to uh, a ultra music festival. High goals. <laughs> High goals. I was like, okay, I saw, actually, I saw Craig David performing, doing his TS5 show at Tomorrowland, I think in 2018. And then I was like, okay, I think this can work. Speak a little louder. been around for around 17 years yeah. uh, you started as an MC yep. uh, famous big parties in the Netherlands yeah uh, great and, and and then you also maybe had a moment that you saw like hey that that performing as an as a, as a DJ uh, would fit me well uh, for me it's like um, I could express myself more during um, if I DJ because you can do a lot more than, than emceeing. Emceeing is hyping up the crowd, but that's like a little moment. And music for me is a lot more. I make music. I, when I was an MC, um, f I worked a lot with Hardwell, uh, Sidney Sampson, um, Afrojack, and I recorded my own vocals. And I thought, how can I work with them? So I got my software, and in that time it was Cubase. Um, you, you didn't have a MacBook. So you only have uh, the, the laptop. Free able to. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then I just recorded vocals and I sent it to them. And then it started working. When I started working with uh, big names like, like a, a Harpel, then my name got out there like it's on the map. And then I started producing because I thought, oh, that's nice. But it wasn't that good. And that's why I wanted to ask help. Like, can, you know, I got this, but can we make it together? That's the first step you need to do. Like, okay, I'm not good enough. I'm not there yet, yeah. yet. Uh, let's do it together. Do you think uh, that that labels uh, they still have the, the room to accept new talents or? I think it's the label, the music label have a have a big part in the in this industry. And just to be clear, Amsterdam, the Netherlands, has the best DJs and music producer, if 100%. I can say so. And <laughs> the, uh, we have the biggest music labels, and I think it's their job to find talents and to make room for for something different and not like what's a hype and what will bring the most stream, streams. And I think music labels are now looking for, for, for those talents because if I send a song and I got one comment, the feedback, no, not for us, we are looking for something different now, that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. What, what are your predictions for, for the future uh, as an artist? What do you think will change or how, how, how will you uh, go on with your uh, career? I think, um there is going to be a lot of equality uh, in the music world. Um, I, I really long for that. I hope that I can start a platform where, um, where people 
you know, who have it tough or, you know, don't really get what they have to do or uh, need more help, um, that I can help them. You know, if I can pave the way, uh, I want to do that. Are we going to perform for a crowd uh, soon or do you think we have to focus on, 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 on creating a lot of content and, and staying visible and, 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 and creating uh, your own platform? Uh, Mm, content is always a good idea. It's necessary. Uh, and I think for playing for crowds, it's going to take a while. Uh, and w next week I'm going to play for 1,300 people in the Netherlands. It's a test case. So uh, <laughs> we're all getting tested before and after. So that's a, a, a good thing. Um, if the, the results are positive, I hope the, the, the COVID is negative, but... Um, if the results are positive, I think there's a lot, a lot of hope that festival season can be uh, uh, there this Open year. Open again. Open again, yeah. Will there be room for other types of artists then? Is it more about performance or is it still uh, only about the music or is, is there a change going on, do you think? Good question. I hope there's more room for live artists to make it more, you know? Yeah. That's why we need more of, Je of Jennifer <laughs> Cook. Uh, yeah. She's so good. And Thank to you. just to have more DJs. engaging with the crowd, more outgoing. Yeah. Yeah. In that way, is, the, is, is there all also more room for a, a female artists, do you think? Um, yeah, definitely. definitely. What do they bring to the stage? I think it's a vibe. I think females, I know, you know, uh, a lot of female artists I see perform, they just have this, sexiness, you know, power, empowerment or, you know, uh, strength and interaction with the crowd that, that, you know, that I love to look at, you know, and I think that, you know, that's why they stand out a lot. But there are a lot of more uh, female uh, artists now that are top of the list, that are paving the way, that are showing us how it how it can be done, like, like a unique, like uh, Aluna, that's, that's also a vocalist. She was uh, part of Aluna George, and now she's a DJ and vocalist too, and she's, you know, standing her ground and like, this can be done. And uh, f for me, I get a lot of inspiration um, from these artists, like, like Annie Mac and Alunu, they, they have our, their own radio show and they push other female artists. So yeah. Amsterdam Dance Event, one of the biggest yeah. uh, events in the Netherlands, it's all about electronic dance music and about about dance. And uh, I, I did my part of encouraging women to be a part of the music industry because I uh, um, had a panel done by professional uh, women, like uh, and, and booking agent, uh, festival organization, uh, manager, uh, music producers, and then um, just focusing on female talent. And there were like 100 uh, young female talent just just attending and I think that's uh, also a good way of showing and pushing them and helping them yeah and and was there a certain outcome that you think like hey we we found a cure or we the most uh, asked question there was uh, what can I do to be seen what can I do to approach and in that time there was no pandemic and I said okay just just email them and 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 send DMs to the artist Mm -hmm. But no reaction. But now everybody, every artist is, is at home. Every every artist is yeah. on their social media. And like for me, I made a, a bucket list, um, which artists I want to work with. And so for me, I, I started DMing everybody, all my my um, um, yeah my heroes. Yeah. And it works. I think social media is like the number one platform right mm -hmm. now. You can just talk to anybody over the whole world. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, like even when girls come to me, they're like, I can't find producers and I want to, you know, make a cool track. Send a message to Instagram, you know, to be honest, I, you know, my next single, I send somebody in a message that I was like, oh, you're dope. Uh, let's do something together. So that's how it works. Yeah, it's really a, a collaboration time. Yeah. yeah. Jennifer Cook, Lady B, thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, to round it up, uh, I think electronic music is for everybody. Yes. Uh, if you add value to the scene, you're more than welcome. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> you were born that you celebrate performing several acts you'll be embarrassed by when you're a little older. You spent time in buildings learning how to fold a piece of paper into an nifty little box. The
flashing plate or diploma. 